Hello, hello, hey soul tribers, what's up? What's going on? How are you? How is the life going in your corner of the world? I certainly hope and pray that you're doing well. Again, it may not be perfect, but you're doing well. And again, just know that God is for you. And because he's for you, who can be against you? Always, always, you're blessed. You're highly protected. You're highly favored. You're anchored. You're safe. And you are secure. You are secure, right? So let's get right into it. Welcome. If it's your first time, thank you for, again, your likes, your shares, your comments. Love hearing from you. Thank you so very much. So here we have the first card. It says, I want to be queen. So somebody could have wanted to be the queen. For some of you, this could be you passing a test, declaring your freedom, stating your so sovereignty. You know, it's like stepping into your royalty. I'm hearing protect your crown. Protect your crown. Because so many people are out there who wants to take your crown, who wants to take your place. Somebody, okay, so this person is falling. This person is having a descent. There's a change going on, you know, looking like an elf, you know. Yes, yeah, so this person here is probably feeling rejection of their perpetual youth. Is like the time, this person is feeling pressure. Time is against them. It to create their own life. It's like they feel like the clock is running out when it comes to them creating their own dream here. For this person, they haven't, you know, they're in rage. Confirmation, this person could be very angry right now. Okay, so this person is falling, falling from grace here who wants to be a queen. Yeah, wow. It says here, you are rare and free. There are not many like you. So for a lot of you, you know, this kind of remind me of like Cinderella and her stepsisters who wanted to take her place. You know, somebody could have really, I mean, this person in the background, yeah, they're falling. They're not happy that you are a rare one. This person could have wanted you to fall again in order to take your place. Oh, wow. That's too many. But a lot of you, you wake up now. This is your moment. It's your moment. Wow. And the card in the back, it says, yeah, we're all mad here. Everyone is a little different. So somebody's mad. They're not happy that you wake up. It's your moment now. So for some of you, somebody was really working hard in the background to take your place here and uh, yeah they wanted to take your crown you are a rare and you're a rare one you're a free spirit and it says they're all mad they're all upset now yeah yeah these person it says promises that never come to be empty words not living in the now yeah so the this person or these people you know yeah it's like the things that they wanted or were working on uh yeah those it's not working out for them you know these people they were not they didn't do much actions they were just people who talk a lot empty words not living in the now so it was just a lot of big talk, what they're going to do, what they're going to be. But at the same time, it's like they were aspiring to become you. Because again, it's like this person or these people, again, getting older, they feel as if time was against them. I saw that card earlier. Time is running out. So it's kind of like, oh, let's see if I can take your destiny. Let's see if I can take your crown, steal your identity, take a page from your book. You know, so yeah, this is somebody who wanted to be queen. Yeah, it says almost prize. So this person wanted the prize. They were tr working real hard trying to please everyone here. So they wanted the prize. 
and this reminds me of you know with solomon when he at the time when he was the wisest man because then he became the dumbest man right after he started with all of these women and stuff but when he just started you probably know the story of the two women you know they had babies close to each other and one slept on hers and when she got up in the night she realized her baby died and then the other lady whose baby was there in the bed she switched them so she gave the lady her dead baby and took the lady's child in the morning of course every mother knows their child and so it is for a lot of you a lot of us and then i wonder if you really know it because sometimes people will try to steal and again your baby could be your destiny your calling that you have on your life people want to pull a switcheroo and so they both went to solomon for his counsel his wise advice and the the of course the fake mother she carried the baby she had the baby this is see this is the nerve and the audacity of people you know they will i mean she carried the baby and went there defending knowing good and well that was not her child while the real mother had to walk behind and can you imagine the frustration but yes some people they don't mind doing that they have no conscience it doesn't hurt them one bit that what they're doing is dishonest and this is what a lot of you a lot of us either need to come to the awareness of or you're coming to the awareness of of people people can be rude crude mean evil spirit i mean jealousy is a disease a lot of people it it completely take over their body their mind their soul everything they're lifeless they're cold-blooded and the, both of them went to solomon and of course thank god with his wisdom you know he asked he's like okay i will cut this child in two and give each of you half and of course the one who is the false mother she agreed tell me now see this is why you have to be careful of the people around you people will put holes in your plan it's like people will put holes in your boat even if they are in the boat they don't even care or they lack the withal they lack the common sense to even realize that you know what if this boat goes down i'm going down with it they will risk their own life just so that you don't come into what you are supposed to come into stop looking at people at face value this is something that i have had to learn very tough lesson looking at the heart looking at the actions of people being aware aware a lot of the times people even make sly remarks and sometimes right there and then you don't catch it but spirit god will bring it back to you in your quiet time to reflect on it's not just for you to push it to the side like, ah, oh, that's nothing. They don't mean anything. Well, even if you're giving them the benefit of the doubt, mark that word. Mark that response. It's like use that as your baseline. And then you can either, you know, learn from that to say, okay, are they repeating that? Those little backhanded compliments people who try to do low blows, people who think that they can throw you off of your path by saying little mean things to you to get you discouraged because you're shining too much. It's your confidence. Your light is, is too bright. Pay attention. Pay attention because you may be getting hurt, still meeting the same people, all because you're ignoring the red flags yes you may be a kind loving person but it doesn't mean everybody else is everybody is the same and anybody can be an open vessel for the devil to use anybody nobody's off limit and so it is so important to pay attention to the details but anywho that lady agreed for the baby to be cut in a half right then and there solomon had the wisdom to know that 
No loving mother would do that. Because of course the child would die. But see, because her child died, she did not mind that other lady was child died, dead too. You understand? So when people, when time is running out, don't meet people and because you think, I have been saying that for quite a few few videos now. Don't meet people and you think that, oh, because they have certain status or money or looks that they, they won't be jealous or insecure. Some people have things in their life that they're covering up. They haven't dealt with those things and you are the one who come along their path and it, I mean, it irks them and they will try to sabotage you or speak lies into your life to get you to cooperate with them to carry out the self-sabotage. And then it will look as if, oh, you'll give up on your dreams. Pay attention, people. We're coming to an end here. You know, it's like we're on a roll. There is no going back. It's like Pandora's box been opened. A lot has been exposed about people and how evil and how good some people are. You can't go back. I'm telling you. Yeah, so Solomon gave the mom back her baby. A lot of people will want to steal your dreams, want to steal your crown. A lot of people want to take your place. A lot of people want to take your place. Even the ones who say, I'm your ride and, and, and die. They will ride off and leave you to die. These people, like the song says, backstabbers. You know, all this time they want to take your place. Every chance they get, they don't mind having a sword in your back. Every opportunity, they're working against you. Some of you, you love friends too much. It's like spend time with yourself. Get to know yourself. Because once you pull away from people and you start spending time by yourself, certain things God will reveal to you about people, the people around you. But you have to be in the gas up and, and the light up every minute. You know, you're going to be in problem. I'm telling you, confirmation. This person, these people, they're caught in the web. So whatever lies that they were telling, everything is now coming out in the open. For some of you, you're realizing too, you lie with dogs, you rise with fleas. And this is no... In, you know, I know when you're talking about something, I will say all men are dog. I'm not talking about that kind of dog. I'm just saying it's like you, you're wherever you're vibrating at in life, you were able, we attracted people down there and we were rolling in the muds with these pigs. We were throwing our pearls to these swines because we didn't know ourselves either. We were probably pigs at one time too, right? And didn't even know who we are. And then you're, it's like when it comes to taking responsibility, you're realizing, you know what? Sometimes too, yeah, you could have known better. But it's like because of your insecurity, your, your self-esteem is low. You stayed in certain situations. And so now is grappling, coming to the realization that, yeah, yeah. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, you, you, when you stoop, go down to that level, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah, you lie with dog, you rise with fleas. Yeah, so these people, they're caught up in a web of their own lies. Whatever deceit they're planned or laid out, it backfire. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're the sheep. You know, for a lot of you, you're rare. You're precious here. You know, it says there are not many like you. You're one in a million. I love it. Your success. You know, it says your sheep. So a lot of you, you were treated as the black sheep. Again, these people, they were telling a lot of lies. So that people would see you differently. Making it seem as if you are not worthy. Again, back to Cinderella. They want you to be hide somewhere in the back doing the hard labor while they take your place 
It's because of your success. It says your success is having everyone everywhere paranoid. That's the sheep. Your success is having everyone everywhere paranoid. I mean, and you'll say, oh, little me, little poor, hold me. Yes, you. Your success is what I'm telling you. Don't take any room you walk into. There is something about you that will ruffle feathers with even the, the, the man or woman in that suit, in that dress, whatever it is. Because when they have not healed certain things and they were not confronted with that and then now it's like you, you may not have what they have, whether it's finances or education, whatever it is, material wealth, but it's like you shake up something inside of them. Some of you, just by you working from the ground up, some people have nepotism. They, they have a, first, a start from their family in life. And to see you building, create businesses and do things, you know, there is something about you when you get it out of the mud. So you will ruffle a lot of feathers out there, a lot of insecurities in people. Yeah, and for a lot of you, again, it's like you're vibrating on a higher level, you know, or a high level. It says the be best revenge is not bashing, trash talking, or gossiping, but go but going, glowing, growing, and leveling up. Absolutely. So while they were spreading lies, gossiping, you're working on yourself. You're doing what you're supposed to do. You're keeping your head down. And a lot of these people, they were dancing on your grave because they thought that they had it in the bag. They thought that you were finished with. You know, think about Cinderella and her sister, sisters and her stepmom. They got ready. They got dressed, went off to the ball, left her there. They thought that was it. Nobody would hear or see of her. Uh, you know, but God was in the background working, right? She had her fairy godmother. So yes, we have God, our angels and our ancestors who are making a way for us. We don't hear. We don't know the lies that the enemy's making up. And I'm telling you, it's like when you show up, because even though she was in that room with those same evil stepsisters and stepmom, they didn't recognize her. They didn't recognize her. And this is what God is going to do for you. Give you beauty for your ashes. You know, yeah. So a lot of these people, they're realizing, you know, pride goes before a fall. A lot of these people were very proud, very arrogant. You know, they thought they got it. Yeah, confirmation. Now they wake up. It's, it, you know, a lot of these people, they wake up now. They wake up. They were very arrogant. Yeah, and they're realizing all that glitters is not gold. Yeah, it's like, you know, people see your, your glory, but they don't know your story. They, they see those diamonds in your crown, but they don't know what it takes for you to get there. All the things you survive in life, they don't know. Oh my gosh, look, your Cinderella story, one size does not fit all. From rags to riches, I can't make it up. These people are mad here. Again, <laughs> you know, they wanted your shoes. They want your crown. I'm telling you, this is why they're mad. Because everything, the shoes can't fit them. It doesn't matter what they try to steal. You are, you know, you're an original. When God made you, he broke the mold. There'll be none bef there's none before you and there'll be none after you. And so this is why it is so important, so instrumental for all of us to live in our purpose. To live our life and don't allow anybody to cause us to you know to flake out because you may think it's nothing and people are there trying to take it away from you these people wanted to steal what's yours this is your cinderella story yeah if you live in a glass house don't throw stone a lot of these people with all these lies they were telling so much lies because they never thought that, you know, the same pit they were digging, they would fall into it. And so now they are in it. They live in glass house. A lot of them, the things that they accuse you of, that's them. That's their story, but they projected it on you. Right? But then now it's like now everything is crumbling. The same things they wanted to happen to you. Yeah, a lot of these people, they judged you. 
You know, again, could be the way you look. People just automatically think that, oh, you must be living a certain kind of lifestyle Why you are like that. Taking lies, people's lying words for the truth here. Yeah, so yeah, so these people, again, they were busy working on something with the Seven of Pentacles. I'm telling you, they were working hard. He or she or them. They are them. They were working very hard to, I mean, I mean, because when you have the seven of pentacles, like you, you, they planted the seed, whatever the lies, they watered it, they nurtured it. See, it's like bearing stuff. It's like they were just in the nick of time. It's like they had everything in place. And it's like at the last minute, God pulled the rug out from under them. I'm telling you, for a lot of these people, they've been trying to avoid this tower here. You know, they've been trying, it's like they've been trying to hold up this lie. Whatever it is, they didn't want some change to happen when it comes to some stability or juggling here. You know, you could have had a knight of cups, somebody, a page of wands. These people were creating a lot of burdens, hardship for some of you. It's lovers with the death card and the magician. So a lot of these people, it's, even though they've been trying to avoid this tower, this sudden shift or change from happening, death is here. Transformation, change, renewal. I mean, it's going to end anyway. Anything that they have been working on with the magician in the background or trying to manifest because again they're working very hard on something to come to life here you know but again ten of swords they were trying to end some things for you you know and yeah queen of pentacles you are the star yeah so they were working very hard to stop and block something for you your stability you from shining from people from seeing you i'm telling you it's like I mean, I didn't even see the Cinderella card and, and it came out. These people, they wanted you to be stuck somewhere in the back. Confirmation where nobody will see you, hear from you. They were taking credit for your work and what you have going on. They, I mean, wow. But can you imagine though, when people are so evil and they put all of this work into something only for it, everything to blow up. And they're caught in their lies and they are exposed. You know, it's like, yeah, it's it's bad. It's like I think I watch a version of the Cinderella story. In the end, her only revenge was that the same thing that she had to do, that the queen would put her stepmom and her stepsisters to do it. So all the hard work that they were having her scrub the floors, you know, doing laundry, yes, the table turned. This is how God does it. And this is why vengeance is his. He says he will repay. He's like, I don't want you to get your hands messy. Clean hands, pure heart. Take your hands off of it. Because when I do it, it's well done. And this is why we are just asked to forgive. Because forgiveness is for us. It's for us. But I mean, stand still. Just like Moses told the children of Israel, stand still and see the salvation before he parted the sea. God will take care of us. And again, it may look like, God, it's a long time. When is this gonna happen? These people, they're still eating bread. They're still living, let me tell you. It's like the longer the time, look around, look what's happening in the world. The long, I mean, how long people been getting away with things. And I'm telling you, it's like when that, when that gavel hit, you know, it's like when the time comes, everything is coming in with compounded interest. I mean, they're getting roast and boil at the same time. So don't worry about how long, because it's almost as if the longer they feel they're getting away with it, is the more, is the harsher their punishment is going to be. Vengeance is mindset, God, I will repay. And he's playing with wrath. Wrath is nothing to play with. You know, so for a lot of these people, you know, it's like when it comes to you, it's like when it comes to your pentacles, you know, this was in the reverse. They didn't want you to have any offers. You know, like it's all bursted up here, you know, and 
they didn't want see they were planting their thing seven of pentacles you're only knight you're way down at the bottom that's where they want you only one pentacle they have seven all because they were jealous your success was making these people paranoid yeah it's like yeah they wanted you to juggle with the seven of cups a lot of illusions a lot of lies these people were telling about you as well they didn't want you to have anything stable anything you work on is like you know it's, it's like as you plan something they come and, and and rip it out they didn't want you to have anything at all because of course they don't want anybody to see you they don't want anybody to see you shining because they're trying to hide you why because they're trying to be you so we can't have two of you <laughs> you know so yeah this is why they were going so hard you know this could have been a, a, a not so queen of ones here somebody was very jealous very witchy you know was too proud you know too proud very very prideful here but pride goes before a fall this person you know they were when they were on top i mean I'm, they were doing the most they were doing the most now they are waking up to the shock of it all yeah mm -hmm. they wake up to the shock of it all yeah this person wanted victory you know six of wands they wanted victory yeah with a king of wands wow three of pentacles yep three of pentacles in the reverse here you know lovers in the reverse yep so this person wanted it to make it seem as if she was the match or he take it however it resonates to like another person so they wanted it to make it seem as if they are the real deal with the six of ones they get the victory you know they are the ones who ride in from the war here and you know look at me i come up only to know they were lying because they wanted to look good to somebody to impress somebody but then this person is not a good match with the three of pentacles here this is not a team player this person does not want to work or anything this person is not stable the lovers in reverse this person and i mean look it, it's the lovers here it's a snake so this person, like I said before, it's very cold-blooded. It's like they just want to win at all costs. That's what I'm getting from this year. They just want to win at all costs. Wow. Yep. So a lot of these people, yep, six of ones fell out in the reverse, guys. Your Cinderella story, yeah. They realize they're not going to have the victory at all. It's not going to pan out the way they invested and they thought it would end up. This is not their Cinderella story. Again, one size does not fit all. This is what these people are coming to the realization of. This deck closed on both sides. I love it. Yeah, so, you know, this person here, again, could have been a lover, you know, of yours, somebody. They are now caught in the lies. This person wanted to come off as if they're a mature man or woman here that they have it all together you know this is how they want it to be seen in the public eye when all this time this is a he devil or she devil i'm telling you great fortune is in the reverse this person these people they are in great despair right now they're in despair they're you know it's like you have a lot of concern they want it to be married to somebody yeah and I'm sure it's money. <laughs> ah, yep. Yep. So they this this person could have been coming off as a lover, a friend, you know, somebody you love or you were close to. Yeah, they wanted you to be in poverty. Yeah, this mature woman wanted you to be in poverty. I'm telling you, that knight of pentacles in the reverse. They didn't want anything to come in for you they were like that canker worm the locust and the caterpillar that was eating up everything for you but guess what god is going to restore unto you everything the canker worm wow 
everything what did i say it's flipped over everything sudden wealth god is going to return to you everything that the canker worm and the palmer worm that they have eaten from you i'm telling you this person is in bad health bad health can't make it up this is a false person with the mature woman whatever it is that these people were expecting they wanted to be this privileged lady here and they wanted marriage now they're getting a message of concern they're sick they're waking up to the bad news look message in reverse whatever it is that they wanted to get you know from a mature man here it's in the reverse it's like again no victory no celebration whatever message or news they were expecting no wonder they're all mad here because whatever the message they were expecting to get it's not coming the way that they anticipated so it's like they work in vain here. Yeah. God vindicates. He takes care of you. He takes care of us. You know. <laughs> Thank God. He looks at the heart. He knows our heart. Right? Yeah. Spirit is saying believe in your dreams. Believe in your dreams. Again with the infinity sign. 2024. Number 8. Unending number 44 you could be seeing that too you know this is about your stability believe in your dreams dreams do come through you know higher thoughts you know it's like think higher and sometimes when you're in that cinderella valley with that poverty and people trying to stop and block your progress it's not easy but again who can be against us right when god is for us when God is for us, who can be 